Hey everybody, Jewel back with another super cool astrology video, and I wanted to talk about the moon in conjunct to Pluto. What happens when we see this very fascinating and magnetic aspect. So people that have this are very much concerned with really getting down to the essence of everything. Trying to find out what is behind everything. So they do a great deal of searching. And if Venus is involved in this aspect, it is going to very much um, amplify what I'm saying here. Some people who have this in conjunction, it figures extremely prominently in their life, especially if Venus involved is involved, because Venus also represents the other facet of the mother and female figures. Um, people who don't tend to have Venus involved can have um, a better experience um, with this aspect. It's not such a sticking point for them. So they very much mistrust their feelings. They are very concerned with trying to digest the early trauma that they experienced and put that into some kind of context. Because the repressed trauma that they experienced typically as a fetus uh, results in this extreme anxiety. And so there was very often early on a threat of early expulsion from the womb. Their earliest environment was very unsafe, and this was when they were at the cellular level. Pluto is our cellular structure. So when we aren't in a position of safety at the cellular level from the very beginning, we feel traumatized, we feel unsafe. And so it's very much associated with either an unsafe or a poisonous prenatal environment. They were very fearful of meeting the mother and of meeting the world. So the wound, the trauma, the disconnection that they received was happened before words, before concepts were available to them to put this trauma into some kind of context. So they are very much trying to heal at the cellular level. They become very much um, obsessed with probing and searching with for what is it? What is it that is causing this these feelings, what is it that I can't get at that is the root of my discontent, the root of my insecurity? They're always looking, looking, looking for what that is. And see, the mother to them, family to them, the past to them, things that are represented by the moon are symbols of rejection symbols of trauma, symbols of fear to them. So, and on some level, they are very much somewhat, um, if not obsessed with, very intent on extracting life from the mother, extracting some kind of life from the family. They feel that she or they owes them on some level. Usually her resources or the family's resources is something that is a real big point of discontent between um, this person and their family or their mother. And what they're really doing is they're trying to extract validation and they are very needy for the mother or the family or people that are represented by the past to give, give, give. And it will never be enough because this is not a problem that lies on the outside. They're very much looking for their discomfort to be soothed or fixed by this outside process 
this outside process of typically of resources coming into being for them. And their security that comes from identifying with the resources of the mother or the family or the past or inheritance are very ephemeral. They are not going to fix the problem. Even if they were to inherit $5 million, they would still have this debt mentality. So their happiness and their security is not a condition. To them, they do see it that way. They will be able to be secure when they get this amount of resources. They will be able to be secure when this happens for them. They will be able to be secure when their mother does this or that or responds to them in this particular way. So it's a process of them understanding that their attention is very much on their lack and their pain and what's missing. And their, whatever, wherever our attention lies is what we will get more of. That is where our energy is pointed at. So when we are so focused on changing the condition as a result of somebody else changing their behavior or making some kind of acceptance or coming to a certain place where, you know, the person with this aspect deems them um, uh, I guess more real or more able or more um, is the word but changed that's what they're really looking for people with this aspect so they're looking for their mother or their family figure or people outside of them that they put their security on to change when that's not what needs to happen they need to change in their own self because there is an extreme attachment to the mother extreme attachment to the past extreme attachment to the family or the resources of the family that is very much a mirror for their inability to reconnect to their own source. So the pain, the mother, the trauma, the lack that they cyclically experience is their connection to higher source in their minds. The feelings that we experience when we are obsessed, when we are putting extreme amounts of focus on one person or one um, thing, and getting some amount of payoff from that emotionally, that is really what, it, it is a, um, a poor, it is a poor, What is the word? There is a word for it. It, 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 it. it doesn't fill in what you're looking for. It's a poor substitute for the actual connection to source that you don't realize you're trying to get at through re-experiencing this pain when it comes to the past, resources, the mother, family, those things. So, as long as our attention is on the trauma or what somebody isn't doing for us or their behavior, because the behavior of the family, the behavior of the mother, the behavior of the people that hold our resources when we have this particular in conjunction is maddening to people that have this aspect. 
So as long as that amount of focus and attention is there, they will see more of that. They will see more because they're reacting to it. They're reacting to it. They're creating the past. They're bringing the past, what they've known and what they've experienced, the trauma they've experienced into the present and then that's creating their future and they're getting more and 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 more lack 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 trauma 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 difficulty in other people and seeing that as the other people being very difficult so when they detach from the mother when they detach from the past when they detach from the extreme need for those resources that they feel often that they don't have or that, you know, if we have other things in the chart that they have to compensate for and, and make more and more and more and more and more and more of, they discover that their security is always there, that their wealth starts to come really quickly because they have lived with this extraordinary attachment for so long that they, they don't realize how hard they're squeezing, how much they're needing, how much that is putting pressure on those figures that they are looking for support from, and it puts extreme amounts of pressure on their own selves. So when they realize that the outcome is okay, the outcome is already taken care of. They don't need to worry about or try to control outcomes because Saturn and Pluto are very much related. Saturn is the father of Pluto. Very much the same kind of thinking and behaviors when we have Saturn moon heart aspects and Pluto moon hard aspects, except Pluto wants to change and demands a change. And typically people that have this aspect do go through a major change. And what it brings is abundance. What they were always screaming and crying and clawing for and trying for and insisting on and being difficult about while seeing that difficulty in other people or in other people in the home or in the mother. When they can let that go and start to breathe easy and know they are not going to end up homeless because that is an extreme fear that people with this in conjunction have. They're not going to end up resourceless. They will have all that they need because their security is what they're looking to provide for first and foremost. They're looking to belong. They get that when they can detach from this extreme need for the mother, the family, the resources, the past to provide that for them and realize that the security is in not being so balled up and gripping in what has to be. These people are actually extremely spiritually evolved. They don't know that. They feel like they have this debt that they owe others. This is not the case. People that have this aspect, they become these extremely spiritually rich individuals because of the amount of searching that they have done. They can go so deep into the unconscious and pull up things that are frankly terrifying and understand how to deal with these things. They are great teachers to the rest of us when they come to understand and deal with their own trauma. So this is one that people can develop great amounts of depth, great amounts of understanding if they can come to that level 